uh, the the team doing Wow Esports are, and like I know this is not up everyone's alley for, they, for they, an they MRPG, woke up. Yeah. but yeah, they've, it's like the thing's woken up and they're they're trying something. So, uh, Arena World Championship, MDI, Race the World first. Uh, look, the, the, wee, I, the wee, what do you call it, the I, variety show? I, I don't mean that those things are, like, not for me. I, like, casually yeah. think they're cool from a distance, but, it, look, if I'm watching esports, it's going to be StarCraft <laughs> too. That's that. That, yeah. Um, <laughs> or, or fighting games for me, but yeah. Or, yeah, or fighting games for you. Cool. Uh, so, you know, I, I don't really need WoW to be in that hyper-competitive thing. But Zymox's charity cash is actually a really good idea of a big <laughs> event that just, uh, you know, I suppose... A Casual heroic raider or whatever, like myself, uh, you know, I wouldn't be interested in the, you know, big multiple weeks long or, you know, tournament with brackets and things. But this is just, hey, we've got Limit and uh, we've got Echo or Liquid and Echo. And we're going to set them in a boss rush against each other, where each boss is going to have two faded affixes. We're going to have two checkpoints in each raid. Uh, if you get to the checkpoint, you earn money for your charity. If you get there first, you double the amount of money you earn for your charity. Excellent. And you get a special, like, fucking chaos affix for one of the next bosses. Like, mm. they actually have to go in here, flip some design things on, and make a cool little event. And I think there's going to be people who maybe wouldn't be as interested in the race to world first. But the idea of this, where it's like, oh, tune in for, uh, you know, for two or three hours and have some fun. Watch the thing go down. And then the <sighs> event's over. That's really cool. Sure is. Yep. So massive thumbs up for that. And then also they're doing the Solo Shuffle Showdown, which essentially is an arena tournament that is with a $100,000 uh, prize pool that's, that is based off the Solo Shuffle. That's money. So, hey, Blizzard, that's really good. Uh, the people working in this should all be... Uh, they should all be, be very satisfied with the things that they're doing. Of course, also the variety show, the Tally S and Avatel hosted, um, mm. had, uh, I think, like a bunch of like pros and streamers and, and uh, I guess, content uh, adjacent people uh, just doing some cool shit. And that was just another example of, oh, look, they're actually really trying hard here. Now, for me, you know, I would like uh, a new equivalent of the Q&As with Ian. I really would like that to come back. Yes. I also Jeez. do understand that Ian's a busy guy. And really, everyone in that team is super busy because they have to ship in three months. But when things calm down and they get things a bit better, I think we have to look at, uh, you know, at what the, obviously, the FF14 were able to, uh, 14 team do with the live letters. Mm. Those are a real big hit with that community. And, you know, they're not even like a crazy expensive mega polish thing to do. It really does feel more like sit down with the boys and find out some new shit. So, uh, hey, anything like that would be great, too. And I feel like whatever state these teams are in, they're maybe more able to do that kind of thing. So that's all pretty cool. There we go. Yeah. 